Hello and Assalamualaikum to all the viewers and listeners. I am Faika Majid and today I am going to teach you an interesting topic of history. And the topic is understanding marginalization. Dear viewers, before we proceed further, let's know what is marginalization. The term marginalization means when a person or group of people or we can say a community is forced to stay at fringe or at the sides and not to be the center of things. Let me cite an example. As we all are students and you are in your classroom and you like different movies as compared to all the other classmates in your class. So how will your classmates treat you? Obviously, they're going to treat you uniquely. They're not going to take you in their groups because you have different choices, you like different movies, different novels or anything like that. How will it make you feel? You will feel unimportant, insignificant, and it will hurt your sentiments. Now let's look forward on the causes of marginalization. Apart from this, there are other causes like culture, religion, and language. These causes play a significant role in being marginalized. So, I'm going to discuss about a community which is being marginalized, despite of being 8% of our country's population. Obviously, it's Adivasi community. So, what does the term Adivasi mean? Adivasi means original inhabitants. Or we can say these are the people who have used to live in close contact or association with forests. Or they still continue to live in close association with forests. My dear friends, this is not a homogeneous community in India. Because more than 500 tribes of tribal communities are found in India. And only in Odisha, more than 60 different tribes groups are found. Despite of this, this community is still being marginalized. Why so? Because they are often showcast as performing their cultural programs, wearing their cultural costumes, headgears and all that. And the common people think that they are resistant to change. Why so? Because they are following those old trends, their old traditional and cultural practices. But it's not like that. Imagine that you are suddenly being forced to leave your home. The home that you leave, used to live in, to thrive in, that was your whole world. Or we can see your whole universe and you are suddenly forced to vacate that. How will it feel to you? You will have to start from the very beginning. And same has happened with Adivasis. They had to stand from the very beginning and that's the main cause we think that they are resistant to change. But it's not like that. They are applying technologies in their uh, daily lives. They are trying to cope up with the technology, with the developing time. And apart from that, they are following modernization. They are accepting modernization with full arms. They are accepting technology with open arms and open hands. Now my dear friends, what's the message of this video? What I have to tell you actually is that this mar uh, marginalization can make people feel insignificant. It can hurt their sentiments, their emotions, their cultural and religious sentiments as well. So we individuals have to come together to eradicate this social evil of marginalization. Thank you. That was all for today's lesson.